Hi, my name is Elliot and I'm Nodal's Chief Blockchain Officer. I'm here with Eva, our little mascot. I see so much value in just connecting to the Polkadot ecosystem, integrating with various parachains. For instance, we have a decentralized certification product that we like to think of as a public key infrastructure. And if you think about it, the certificate of each IoT device represents its identity because with that, they can actually authenticate the data they produce, or maybe they can acquire autonomously certain services like internet access for Nodo, like energy through other parachains. So why don't we just plug that with an actual identity parachain? Maybe we can even create something called a digital twin of the IoT device in a fully decentralized manner, which will be pretty interesting. I think the use case I like the most is the fact that since we can control IoT devices remotely via the nodal network, meaning the nodal chain, we should be able to have a decentralized organization that can actually own and operate fleets of IoT devices. And those IoT devices don't need to be small or inexpensive. It could be like a Tesla and a DAO would own a fleet of Tesla, rent it to people and actually make profit from that just because they can know via the IoT network where the Tesla is, what it is doing, and maybe we can even control it. To be fair, we could go on and on, but if we look at Centrifuge, Centrifuge is able to tokenize real world assets. So if you combine what I said previously with controlling devices remotely and being able to tokenize such devices, you could maybe rent the ownership of those devices in a fully decentralized manner. So the DAO I mentioned previously don't need to operate in the real world. You can just go on a DeFi platform and sell tokenized access to the actual Tesla on a platform like a Kala, Parallel Finance, or any other parachain. And last but not least, I, I like to think of, of Nodal as a potential developer platform. And people can build so many smart contracts if they are just able to link that to real world IoT devices. And they could do that on the Nodal chain itself or on an actual smart contract platform like Moonbeam, which will provide Ethereum-like compatibility and EVM compatibility.